Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to welcome you to my house. I present to you the Celebrate Christmas Spectacular Party. As you know, I prepare Christmas songs for many times a very busy Christmas by our Christmas dinner of Christmas food. A Christmas movie is about and Christmas Carol in 1997. I prepare my own uh, Christmas parade on YouTube that I created. And also that Christmas around the world. And yes. Okay. Our first song is called We Have Larry the Cucumber and Manuel. They're going to sing called Feliz Navidad, which means Merry Christmas in Spanish. And also other words means like Wish you a promise you and happiness. See me, yes, in Spanish. You see, those Spanish words come from Mexico, Mexican, and in Spain. So here it is. about a clean the collection. So here he is. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you, Archibald and Larry. All right, everybody. We have a, a, a Paul Graves' favorite song. This is one of his favorite songs in the whole wide world. He's still my talking about this song from the West Virginia. I present to you, Go Tell It on the Mountains. So here it is. This is one of my favorite songs in the whole world. My dear mother taught me this song a long time ago in the hills of West Virginia. Hey, what are you doing bringing a car in here? Buddy, we have Palmy the Palm Tree. He's going to sing called Angels We Have Heard I Hide. So here it is, folks. The name of this song is Angels We Have Heard on High. It's a song we sing every Christmas in Jamaica. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Shepherds by this jubilee, 
Oh, that was just wonderful! Is everybody having a good time? I think now would be a good time to watch the song for Perpetual's video, The Toy That Saved Christmas. We have, I can't believe it's Christmas, Grumpy Kids, and Old Santa just for you. Alright now, I better, I better just have to turn on the lights. And so, and so we're going to enjoy our your favorite three songs for, for, for Christmas for Betty Tales. Enjoy! Christmas, I think we're really missing something. Must be more to Christmas. But what? And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. It's Christmas Eve, and Larry is anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come, and I've got cookies. Three yummy cookies. Just for you for when you come, or me for you for when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is surprised to be greeted not by Santa, but crafty bank robber. Who are you? I'm a bank robber! And I've come to rob your bank! Yes, I've come to rob your bank! And I've come to take your dimes and swipe your nickels! So stand back, step aside, you silly pickle! And let me in! Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I'm not a banker! I have no bank my robbing friend, but I have cookies! Three yummy cookies! And I don't have nickels! But please take this, my robbing friend, eat one of these, my robbing friend, they are for Santa, but you may have one. The bank robber is truly touched by Larry's goodwill, although momentarily distracted, is still excited about seeing Santa. 
for Fanta. I'm a robber. I came for Rob your bank. Yes, I came for Rob your bank. And I've got cookies. You share a cookie. Two yummy cookies. I yummy cookie. Though I'd love a rain. You're dying. Cookie for half a dime. 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 Cookie for half a dime.
perfect time has come at last. Jesus, Lord of all the world, coming as a child among us. Jesus, Lord of all the world, run to us thy heavenly peace. Thank you, friends, please. That was great. Okay, let's see. It's also a week. I got two got more songs before this, before this year. The Christmas movie and the Christmas parade. And before the big medley. Okay, let's see. Here, here's Juno Spurgers and the sheep. They're singing called Wild by My Sheep. So here it is. Thank you, Junior. Thank you, Sheep. And thank you, Staymaster. Okay, everybody. Here's Oscar the Polish Caner. He is going to see, and he has some food. Now, we call it like, a Polish food of Christmas. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And enjoy. And now it's time for the Veggie Tales Christmas Party, the part of the show where we join our veggie friends at their annual Christmas party. Well, into an evening of caroling and fun, the caterer has yet to arrive, and the guests are quite hungry. Man, I'm starving. I'm so hungry, I can eat a reindeer. Oh, yeah? Well, I could eat 12 reindeer and a sled. Oh, yeah? Well, hey, Bob, eat... we got any Ritz bits? I'm sorry, Pa, not yet. The food's not here yet. Hey, look, everybody. It's Oscar, the Polish caterer, with the food. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I hope you're hungry. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Oscar. What took you so long? The Karwalski wedding. Those people eat like you wouldn't believe. We believe. Well, what'd you bring us? What I bring you? What I bring you? I'll tell you what I bring you. The first Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. A boiled potato top with filled with The second Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Is the pierogies. What's a pierogi? It's a dough wrapped around meat. Oh! And a boiled potato top with filled with The third Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Three simmer gonkies. What's a gonki? It's cabbage. Wrapped around meat. Oh. Two steamed pierogies and a boiled potato. 
Nintendo top is you need. Therefore, all this Christmas dish I bring to the party. Four big paprikas. Now, what is a paprika? It's a bell pepper stuffed with meat. I see. Three simmered quumpies. Two steak paroquies. And a boiled potato top with dilly. Much just meat. Oh, oh big paprika, three simmered quumpies, first in a row, and a boiled potato top with dill meat. This is Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Six fried hoose chickies. Oh, let me guess, something in the meat family? Actually, it's a delightful pastry with a thin flaky crust. Mm. Five smoked kills. Paprikas, three simmered clumpies, two steamed pierogies, and a boiled potato top with dill meat. Oh, Oscar, I'm getting kind of full. The seventh Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Seven fitted prunes. I don't like prunes. But this food, you'll need them, son. Oh, is that right? Uh-huh. Six fried goose cheekies. Five smoked kale buzzers. Boy. Four big paprika, three simmered quumpies, two steamed pierogies, and a boiled potato top with gilby. Long in a bus, the eighth Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Eight happy seed cakes. Happy, happy, happy. There's no place like home. Six fried hoose cheekies. Okay, people. My boy, you're done. I just spend it. Got time. Don't worry. We still got time. Don't worry. We still got we still got time. We still got time. Just trust me. We still got time.
They don't show it. All of the errors are all God's plan. It's like, especially when those are remembered with crazy ideas. Now let's see if Kato has prepared has reverse cards today. If this is a great idea or something, you know. Wow. Thank you, Oscar. That was great. All right, everybody. The food is here. Number one, we have... A Christmas food present it was a boiled potato. It's with potato chips. And number two of the Christmas food it was cheese stained pierogies. It was cheese cut from dairy cream. Number three Christmas food it was a corny butter corn. It was it was from popcorn. And popcorn comes from grains. And, and it has a nice butter. Number four Christmas fruit was apple fruit pies. It, it was apple. Apples come from fruits. It made delicious apple pies. Number five Christmas fruit it was smoky mystics. It was, it, it, it was pretzels for snacks. Number, number six Christmas food was a fried fish cheesy. It, it, it was goldfish crackers with cheese. Number seven Christmas food was um, pretty prunes. It was fruit snacks. All the fruits for snacks. Number eight Christmas fruit was a lemon cupcake. It was lemon from fruits. It tastes good with cupcakes with sugar. And also, our last number nine it was a Christmas sugar cookies. It was nice and delicious. Well, that was it. You can also enjoy your Christmas food dinner if you like. Alright, everyone. We have our Christmas movies about and, and Christmas Carol about was, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. And, uh, and also, I have like a Christmas parade. At least we have a Christmas movie and Christmas parade. We'll be putting it all together now. Well then, I'm gonna turn the lights off. Well then, well then, and enjoy a, a Christmas movie. Enjoy. is a song. A song that means a ditty. For others, a dirge. But at the holiday season, we all sing a carol. A Christmas carol. Means a ditty for others, a dirge. 
But at the holiday season, we all sing a carol, a Christmas carol. Christmas as a rewarding time. 
Even putting aside its sacred name and origin, Christmas is still a joyous, wonderful season. The only time in the whole year when folks seem to open their hearts and treat strangers as friends, and therefore, Uncle, though it's never put silver in my pocket, I say God bless Christmas. spirit to the last. So Merry Christmas, Uncle. Good afternoon. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Good afternoon. Scrooge and Marley's, yes? Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley died seven years ago this very night. Oh dear. However, we have no doubt your generosity matches that of your deceased partners. Hmm? Here you are, Mr. Scrooge. That's only five lumps. Where's the sixth? The snow, sir. Back to work. Coal's not cheap, you know. Uh, generosity, yes. Uh, at this festive season, it is compassionate to provide for the poor and destitute who suffer greatly at this time. What shall I put you down for? Nothing. Ah, you wish to be anonymous. I wish to be left alone. I don't make merry at Christmas, and I can't afford to make idle people merry. But surely, sir, I do my share. My taxes pay for the prisons and workhouses, and those who are badly off should go there. But many would rather die. Then they should do it and decrease the surplus population. But, sir, thousands are in need of simple comforts. <laughs> it's not my business, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Uh, but, Mr. Scrooge... Debit!
light, you reliability. <laughs>
should see him now, Ebenezer. I can't see a chain. I can. And it is a monstrous one. It is our human duty to walk among our neighbors and do good. If we fail to do this while we are alive, then we're doomed to do it after death. Look, see that poor woman? It's not my business. Mankind is our business. Please, take this for the bay. By the time we realize we must help one another, it is usually too late. When we're dead, we can no longer do any earthly good. But I have good news. Tonight, on the anniversary of my death, I've been given the opportunity to warn you, Scrooge. Perhaps you can escape my fate. Really? You simply visit me and then everything's all right? Almost. You'll also be haunted by three spirits. No deal. Without their visits, you cannot hope to break your chains. I don't care, Jacob. I like chains. No ghosts, do you hear me? Expect the first when the bell tolls one.
dust and wood smoke. invited home for the holidays, alone, stranded. I wish... What's the matter, eh? There was a boy at my door last night. Perhaps I should have given him something. That's all. You did, Gus. A fistful of coal! <laughs> Robinson Crusoe. Yes. I remember this day. He was my favorite storybook character. Blimey, you've been visited by spirits before. Don't mock me, Shade. Once again, I'm all alone, but all I need are my shadows to show them I'm fine on my own. I'll slay the beast. I'll bring the feast. clowns at least. I'll ride a whale. I'll find the grail. I'll be a matador. What's more, I'll live to tell the tale. Like Arthur on his throne, I won't be alone. Once I pull the sword out of the stone. Sad at all up on the wall. See all my friends when shadows fall. But then, as the firelight dies, I can see with my own eyes no friends at all when shadows fall. Christmas in spite of father. 
know I wish she were alive to invite me home again. But she has. Poor Sanfred. Don't you see? Her goodness lives in him. Yes. Oh, I wish... Bah! Never mind. Let us visit another kind soul. Why, it's old Fezziwig, my boss. Bust my buttons, he hasn't changed a bit. Ho, ho there, Ebenezer. Ditch, no more work tonight. No, no, it's, it's Christmas Eve, my boys. Clear away and let's have lots of room here. <laughs> I was an apprentice here. A good one, too. Old Fezziwig treated me like his own son. Show me a better boss than that, eh? <laughs> so he spent a bit of cash on some song and dance. Where's the prize in that, eh? Bit of coin? You couldn't buy that much happiness with a fortune. He had the power to render us happy or sad, to make our jobs a pleasure or a drudgery. He must have set quite an example for you. Now Oh, nothing particular. I'd like to be able to say something to Bob Cratchit just now. That's all. Come, my time grows short. It's Belle. Good news, my darling. Guess what I've got. <laughs> Give me a hint, Ebenezer. It's small and round and gold, and it holds the future. A ring? No, the profits from my first business venture. Isn't it wonderful, Belle? Now I'm sure to be a success. Stop talking, you mindless pup. <laughs> Belle? Now we've reached this bridge together. And I hope we'll soon be crossed. So don't put a price on paradise, or our paradise is lost. And if bridge leads to disaster, if its moorings aren't secure, Heaven won't provide on the bridge's dark side. It's our wealth which will endure. I'll cross this bridge with you. I'll cross this bridge with you. Show me the man that I once knew. And I'll cross this bridge with you. No one lives on hopes and wishes. Love alone grows dry and cold. But the sun will shine on these bright dreams of mine. As upon this coin, 
of gold. Can I cross this bridge with you? I'm a true I Your am. words leave me split in two. What else can I do? Has love begun or is it through? Should I cross this bridge with you? Life's a rocky and an uncertain course to chart. Why not be safe in smart? Where's your passion? Where's your heart? Now no, it's time, time to say goodbye to frivolous dreams. Can we cross this bridge together? Go after her, you fool! Stop. Don't shut me anymore. I told you, these are the shadows of the things that have passed. You're blaming me for your choices. Why are you torturing me like this, spirit? Leave me alone, please. Take me back home. Haunt me no more. Spirit. Was a bad dream, was it? <laughs> Crying in your sleep. Thick-headed old ninny. I'm not going to take it anymore. You hear me, spirits? No more! Oh! 
Oh, he seems contented enough to me. Come along. Happy Christmas. Happy me. Happy everyone. Woo Happy humbug. What? Backsliding already? Well, it's just that why should I be accused of being selfish when... Yes? When Christmas is a selfish holiday. What? Ah! Save me so you can annoy me further. <laughs> what a tough old walnut you are. All right, then. Let's see if I can convince you otherwise. Can't you see a Scrooge who simply starved for love? Your kindness is poetic, kind and sympathetic. We got plenty of. Now it's as good as a poor man. He got a way to live. Greedy folks believe it's better to receive. We just rather give. Random acts of kindness, he could use some. I've got you to love, and all he's got is well. Your goodness takes the cake, Bob. Still, for goodness sake, we'll drink this wine for fun. It's great. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I provide them with an income, and this is how they treat me. Oh, you're too good for Scrooge, Bob. But I'll drink his health for your sake. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Though with all his money, he's merry enough, I'll bet. <laughs> oh, very good. Now clear away. Let me, Tim. You go warm up. Fortune. I am. You am what? A, a 
remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No! Oh, no, spirit, say he'll be spared. Well, if he's going to die, he should do it and decrease the surplus population, right? I... I didn't mean... Next time, find out who the surplus is. Remember, Scrooge, no one is worthless or unfit to live. A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. Ooh, it looks nice. God bless us. Yes, God bless us, everyone. Here, here. Yeah. I am so thankful to be in the bosom of my wonderful family at Christmas time. I wish I had family to be with. Ah, but you do, you silly man. What place is this? What the house of your only living relative? Nephew, friend. And then the old fellow said, What's Christmas but a time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer? But it's true. Scrooge, just listen to you. You're just so funny now, aren't you? Oh, I love you. Uh, did your Uncle Scrooge really say that? Yes, and that Christmas was a humbug. <laughs> He's the humbug, Fred. <laughs> I want to go now. Oh, stay put. You like this? Uh, he's a comical old fellow, but I have nothing bad to say about him. What? Not even his stinginess? No, his wealth does him no good, so I am sorry for him, really. And so I'll invite him to celebrate Christmas every year for my sweet mother's sake. I know it's hard to believe, but she loved him dearly. I never realized how... Yes? How much he looks like Fan. And with such a big heart. Now, in honor of my mother, I want to teach you all a song that she and her brother Ebenezer used to perform when their father wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> and you must all join in. Yes, I remember this. Such a sooty suit. T'was last Christmas Eve. I had a cause to hide beneath the stairs. I stayed awake for Santa Claus and caught him unawares. <laughs> he was coming from the fireplace. From the chimney smoky shoots. And I never quite saw such a sight as Santa Sooty suit. Oh, he never quite saw such a sight as Santa Sooty suit. Scrub-a-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-
connect you with the death. I beseech you. my eyes. I mustn't show weak eyes to your father when he comes home. It must be near his time. Past it. I think he walks a little slower than he used to, Mother. Oh, I have known him to walk with, with tiny Jim upon his shoulder very fast indeed. But he was very light to carry and no trouble. No trouble. Sorry, Robert. You can bear to die, Robert? Yes, dear. I wish you all could have gone. You would have enjoyed seeing how green a place it is. I promised him that I would walk there on Sunday. <laughs> little boy. My little boy. <laughs> no, Spectre, no. No, not tiny, Jim. This cruel future be changed. Is this then where that wretched dead man now lies underground? Before I look closer, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of the things that will be, or only the things that might be? All lives lead to certain ends, but if our lives change, then the ends must also change, right? They must! If I am past all hope, please tell me that I can make a brighter future than this. All alone. Stranded. Christmas, whose truth 
cause my spirit to burn. My present, my past, and my future taught me I'd so much to learn. I've lived a tale of a miser who spoiled every joy that he could. Then he got older and wiser and only yearned to be good. Once my memories brought me nothing but pain. Now it's Christmas with new precious memories to gain. I'll sing a song full of wonder, like snow from the heavens above. I'll share my new song on Christmas. <laughs> I've a new song of love. Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year to the world. Hello, my fine fellow. Yes, you laugh. Wait, don't run. Please. What, what is it then? Do you know the poultry shop down the street? Ha, it's Snow White. An intelligent boy. A remarkable boy. Do you know whether they've sold the prize turkey that was hanging there? What, the one as big as me? <laughs> yes, my lad, that very one. Tell them to bring it here, and I'll give you a silver coin. Do you mean it? Aye, lad. Come back in less than five minutes, and I'll give you two. <laughs> Come, my friend. We have much to do. <laughs> Merry Christmas, gentlemen, and a Happy New Year. magnificent bird came from, but let's eat! Mm 
Mr. Scrooge? What do you mean, being here this time of day? It's only once a year, sir. Uncle! I am not going to stand for this sort of thing any longer. And therefore, I am about to... No, please, Mr. Scrooge. Raise your salary! Yeah. A raise? A raise! A Merry Christmas, Bob! Yes, a merrier Christmas, my good fellow, that I have given you for many a year. And starting today, I'm paying you what you deserve. Yes. I, I, I give you Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. Yeah. <laughs> Just like an old Fezziwigs. And later, Fred and I will teach you Santa's sooty suit. Yes! <laughs> we will indeed. Now, let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Fred, my boy, is there enough of your mother in you to forgive an old humbug? Welcome to the family, Uncle Scrooge. Do you like it, Tim? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We're going to get you well, young man. And afterward, you can teach me to slide on the ice. Oh, yes, sir. And the doggy, too. God bless us. God, God bless, bless us, us. Everyone. Everyone. And Scrooge was as good as his word. No, better. He was like a second father to Tim. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as anyone in the world. And he kept Christmas in his heart forever.